you're in the right place if you're worried about biology paper one or you want to improve in biology paper one. I got all nines in my GCTs, I got a nine in biology and my channel over exam season is going to be posting so much content to help you last minute. So make sure you subscribe. Let's get straight into this. I'm going to be very con concise, give you guys all the best advice for biology paper one. Okay, so first things first then. The first thing I do in the build up to my exams I want to make sure you have at least done is spam a lot of questions for biology. Okay, I do this in the build up to every science. I got my teacher to print off a big sheet of questions and she also printed off a mark scheme. Never do questions and don't mark them. And I just banged through that. Okay, that was so useful. That's what I think tipped me into the nine because I just went through so, so many questions that you spot the patterns, you spot the themes. I'll talk about at the end of some things that I think could potentially come up because they kind of always do. So, Either go through loads of questions. If you really are stuck for time, look at loads of past papers. See what comes up quite a bit and just have a little note in your head. Make sure you're revising that, okay? So I'll be doing a lot, a lot of questions. You can actually learn content by doing questions, especially last minute because you might remember some stuff. So that's really important. Next thing then is the sponsor of today's video, which is Makindo. Now, Makindo questions, honestly, I recommended this to so many students and they've all really, really liked it. It's basically a huge database of GC questions on your phone. I really, really rate it. So make sure you install McKindle and just spam questions, okay? It's all about getting through everything. You could get that and go through all of the biology questions on McKindle, okay? You could do that twice, yeah? That's gonna be really useful. Just keep things in your head last minute. 100% download McKindle for exam fatigue. That is gonna help you so much. The link will be in the description, okay? And it is completely free as well. So make sure you do that. I'd really recommend that. And thanks McKindle for sponsoring this video. Now, next thing as well then is I would use AI, okay? I'd use ChatGPT and just ask it, what are some common themes you think could come up in biology? Or give me 10 biology flashcards to cram. Give me the 10 most important definitions. Charge GPT is going to be your friend during exam season. You could spend like half an hour before each exam just like asking it questions and that type of thing. Obviously, don't rely on it because it's passive. It's just telling you stuff. So flashcards are more effective than, than just chat GPT. But have a like little discussion with it for all your subjects. Okay, that's really, really important. I didn't get that during my GCCs. I wish I did. It is it's so good. Okay, so ask it. What could come up tomorrow? Give me some advice, that type of thing. That's going to be useful as well. Now, next thing that I want to remind you guys is practicals, okay? This is useful because they're guaranteed to come up, okay? Practicals always come up and they're always quite a significant amount of marks. So go through the, the go through the practicals. I would be revising that in the build up to my science exams. That's exactly what I did to get nines. I made sure I was very confident on the practicals because we know it's going to come up. We know one of them is going to come up at least. You're probably going to have to write down the steps for each practical. And by the way, when you do write the steps for that six mark question, I'd put in everything. Make sure you can read it back again and it makes sense. That's how you get six out of six marks. If you can read it back again and you can actually follow that if you hadn't seen it before. So don't neglect those practicals. Free science lessons videos are great for that. You can still flashcard them if you need to. Uh, test yourself on them on the morning of. That's what I did. The morning of, I watched the practical videos again, just because, like I said, it's guaranteed to come up. Another thing as well for that exam technique, just remember, one mark is one point, okay? If you've got a three-mark question, don't just write one thing, yeah? Try and think, what three points can I actually get out of this? So that's a really important thing to consider as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about some topics that often come up, just so you, like, at least vaguely prepared. Diffusion, osmosis, active transport. They, for some reason, they just always come up in one way or another. Make sure you know the definitions, okay? Diffusion is the spreading out particles from an area of higher to lower concentration. Osmosis is basically the same, but water molecules and through a partially permeable membrane. So the definition of osmosis can actually be a three-mark question. It is the movement of water molecules from an area of a higher to lower concentration through a partially permeable membrane, okay? Pathogens, have a thing that's going to come up, COVID, everything like that. So just make sure you kind of brushed up a little bit on that. And cells usually comes up as well. Very common, like first question will be on cells. Um, you never know. Don't just rely on what I've just said there, but you absolutely can get through quite a lot of content. So another thing as well is exam technique. It's not a time pressured exam. Science just isn't. So work through it nice and calm. Don't rush the start. There's just no need to rush, okay? You really, really do have time for this exam. And for those of you that have multiple choice questions, really, really important piece of advice, process of elimination. Don't leave any questions blank. If you see multiple choice questions, that's really good because what you need to do is first of all, eliminate what it isn't, okay? They'll sometimes do like a random definition. Like they'll be talking about pathogens and osmosis will be an answer to a question. It's not that, okay? If you're really struggling with science, eliminate what you think it isn't and that gives you your best chance. Don't just guess out of four, knock two out and you're guessing out of two, 
okay? That's really, really important. The grade boundaries for science are often lower than you think. It's really not that high. So you can do really well. If you learn the practicals, there's often some maths questions as well. And you learn, like you're very careful with those mark questions, the uh, multiple choice questions, okay? So that's really important advice. Take your time for the paper. The six markers, if you're asked to write a six marker, like evaluate the comparison between this type of thing, that often comes up in biology, milk it. Yeah, write quite a lot for that. Unless you're clearly, clearly evaluating, come up with an opinion, which do you think is better? Those type of questions often come up as well. To summarize then, it's a very, very achievable paper, okay? Firstly, you can still revise, okay? Even if it's just learning 10 key definitions that you hadn't learned before, even if it's just recapping, 100% get Makindo, spam through all of them. If you have flashcards, I'd be doing them in the build-up to the exam, repeatedly. On the morning of the exam, pick the flashcards you keep getting wrong, go through them. Make sure you don't neglect practicals. Make sure you are careful in your paper as well. And I hope that video is helpful. You're going to do well. Remember, there's a paper too. I'm telling that to everyone. It's really, really important. Do not give up during exam season. This channel, like I said, is the place to be. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to help you. And thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Let's get to 20k. And yeah, that's my advice for biology paper one. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.